What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I'm doing my initial reaction to Dragon Ball Super Broly. Now, I've been a fan of Dragon Ball for a long time now. I've been watching it since I was a kid and whenever it came on TV and when I watched it on the internet and such, I've got a little poster here, which I'm putting there. I can't put it up on the wall because it's too big for this um, wall and it actually comes from a different room. But yeah, that's something different there, just a little memorabilia there. Uh, Cell Saga is one of my favourite sagas. And not a lot of people will like it, but I personally love it because I love tournament arcs. And that is one thing that plays a big role in my liking of Dragon Ball Super Broly. Because the fight scenes in this film feel a lot like a tournament arc. Where one person doesn't take the fight seriously and then they slowly power up even more and more to overcome the challenger that they face. And then it's really just a competition about who can power up more and basically it's intense, it's fun and enjoyable, and I really liked it. That said, let me just quickly mention that this is a spoiler review, just in case you yourself want to go watch it. Let's jump back to the start of the film before any of the intense action that we've seen in the trailers occurs. We get essentially 30 minutes or so, I'm pretty sure, of backstory on Planet Vegeta, Freezer, the Saiyan race and more, and it was enjoyable to see this. It was very exposition heavy, and that's a good and bad thing. It gives people who are watching this film without any real backstory of the Dragon Ball series some information which they need for the film. But at the same time, it kind of annoyed me because I, I knew pretty much everything that was already said um, in this opening 30 minutes or so. At times the dialogue was really clunky. Maybe it sounds better in Japanese, but because I saw it in cinemas, it was the dubbed version and yeah, the dialogue was very clunky at times. The backstories that we get for Broly, uh, Vegeta and the whole Freezer destroying the same race is pretty solid. It ties in with what we already know from the actual series itself and it is a better story for Broly as a character than what we got in the original movie. Broly is a sympathetic villain in this film. You don't see him as the bad guy who's really the main villain. Freezer is clearly, he's the one who's making this plan to take down Vegeta and defeat Kakarot. And it's very enjoyable to see a villain in Broly which you sympathize with, which you care for, and the ending of the film gives a satisfying ending to Broly's story that is shown in this film. And it also acts as a way of setting up more in the Dragon Ball universe, more films or more series or whatever comes up next. And that's a good thing. The, in between this all, there's a bunch of action, a bunch of entertaining moments, great jokes such as Bulma wanting to look five years younger, at the same time Frieza wanting to go five centimeters taller because any more and it'll be very obvious that something's wrong, like something's being faked. And that was very enjoyable humor, that pairing up of the two Bulma and Frieza. I can't help but be entertained when I see the fight. It's really intense and just a barrage of different colors and scenes and quick paced actions but it doesn't come off as really just cramming a lot of things into an action scene. It comes off as a very well choreographed fight. There are two moments which I personally don't enjoy which is Vegeta and Raditz as kids. It was cool to see Nappa with hair but Vegeta and Raditz didn't sound like kids when they were speaking. Um, they looked like it and they're very cute but they just didn't sound like a kid. Uh, the second part is actually Bardock's part in the story. I get that this film isn't centered around Bardock, but I really like that special um, that we got years ago, a long time ago, which had Bardock's story being told, where he actually tries to fight Frieza as he goes up against all of these um, people fighting from the Frieza force. And it's really emotionally heavy. But in this movie all we get is Bardock trying to stop um, Freezer's attack near the end just before Vegeta, Planet Vegeta sorry, is destroyed and it has him die the same way. I just didn't feel for him and I personally love Bardock. That's just a nitpick that I have because I want that character to get more screen time and get more story. But this is Broly's movie and Broly and his dad should be front and center as they were in this movie. With Goku being Goku, you know, trying to be friends, looking for someone stronger to fight, and uh, Vegeta just trying to be better than Kakarot, really. And one thing that I love about this film itself is that it understands its own universe so well that they know that the Z fighters are no match for Broly or even Frieza, so that they don't even really appear in the movie, except for Piccolo, who he himself states that he's no match for that 
overpowered Sei and Broly, they still have a role to play in the story itself. And I really love it as well because I love Piccolo. He's one of my favorite characters. He's really the only character in film or series or anything which is a positive character with a turban, which I really love because there aren't any there that I can really look up to, except for Piccolo, a cool action hero who's a badass, who has this cool story arc early on in the series, and he still is able to be a character that maintains his spotlight in all of these films, even though the other characters far exceed his power level. So my initial reaction to this film is that it has great animation, action, and fairly well developed characters, especially for the villain in Broly. I'd give the film an 8 out of 10, simply just an 8, and I think that's enough considering that there are moments which I don't like personally, and a few moments where the exposition is too heavy handed for audience members. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos every week, leave a comment down below on what you thought about the film and if you're going to watch it or not, and I'll catch you all next time. See us.